I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to write exact value of a given trigonometric expression. Now this video has been specially made for my student Shashi who wants to understand this topic. So the question here is calculate the exact value of the following. I have taken two examples. First one is sine of 45 degrees minus tan of 45 degrees. The other one is sine 60 degrees minus cos 30 degrees divided by tan 60 degrees. Now whenever you want to write an expression with exact value, you should consider the special triangles. Let me sketch these special triangles for you. So first one I have sketched is the 45 degrees one and now let me sketch another one which is 30, 60, 90 degrees, right? So here we have 45 degrees. So in a 45 degrees triangle, the sides are equal, right? Then the square root 2 is your hypotenuse. In 30, 60 degrees triangle, it, the sides are 1, 2 and square root of 3. Correct? Now you could imagine an equilateral triangle of side 2 each. Perpendicular will divide the two sides in equal parts. So we have 1 here. So 2 and 1. And altitude or the height of the triangle is 2 square minus 1 square. So that is how you get square root 3. So that helps you to remember. So first and foremost, whenever in the test you are going for trigonometry, sketch these triangles. Another thing which I want to bring to your knowledge is that this 45 degrees triangle could be written in a different way also. Let me make another 45 degrees triangle. right? So this time what I am going to do is I will multiply each side by square root 2. Then this becomes square root 2. That also becomes square root 2. Square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. So this is the triangle which you get. There is an advantage of this triangle which we will figure out when we solve the question. Okay, let's begin with the very first one. It says sine 45 degrees minus tan 45 degrees. So we will use that 45 degrees triangle. Sine 45 is opposite over hypotenuse. If I use this triangle, I get 1 over square root 2. And tan 45 degrees is opposite over adjacent which is 1, so minus 1. So in this case, I have to really solve it, common denominator is square root 2, and I get 1 minus square root 2 as my answer. Now it is important that we should write always our answer with no radical in the denominator. So we need to rationalize. So to rationalize, I have to multiply and divide by square root 2. That is important. So once I do that, what do I get? I get in the denominator 2, square root 2 times square root 2, in the numerator, I get square root 2 minus square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. That is what I get. Now, if you use the second triangle, then see how the solution becomes simpler. And that is what we want to highlight. So, now we are doing method 2. Using second triangle. Sine 45 degrees now becomes square root 2 over 2. So, we could write this expression as, okay, let me write uh, in here itself square root 2 over 2 and tan of 45 degrees is still 1. Square root 2 divided by square root 2 is minus 1. So if I take common denominator here, I get what? I get 2 and square root 2 minus 2. So I straight away get the same answer. Do you understand? So if in the denominator you are getting square root 2, it is better to use the second triangle. Correct? So that is what I want to highlight and show you. I hope this point is well taken. Now as a practice, you can do a question with cosine, right? Cosine 45 is also kind of same. And then I'll just change the question a bit. Sine 30 degrees. So do this as a practice question. Now let's solve the next one. We have sine of 60 degrees. Sine of 60 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse. That gives us square root 3 over 2 minus cos of 30 degrees. 30 degrees adjacent side over hypotenuse square root 3 over 2 tan of 60 degrees that means I have to divide by tan right so let me write tan of 60 degrees 60 is square root 3 over 1 so it is in the denominator so it is kind of let me write here square root 3 over 1 I could just write square root 3 here perfect now in this case you can see square root 3 square root 3 cancel out so we have square root 3 over 2 minus 1 over 2 and that gives you the solution as 
square root 3 minus 1 divided by 2. So the given expression is equal to square root 3 minus 1 divided by 2. So that is how you can actually get the exact values. As a practice question, let me give you here a question to you and that will be tan of 60 degrees divided by cos of 45 degrees, let us see, right? So try to do this minus, minus sine 45. Okay, so I just added a few more terms. So you can take that as a practice question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.